What's going on YouTube? It's Bama Dipper back with Dixie Man 69. Let me get that subscribe. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah, you gotta subscribe. Come on, I gotta get some subscribers going. I gotta get tires rolling. Like I said last video, you gotta get me going. Thank y'all uh, for everyone who hasn't subscribed yet but will. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate it. Um, so, I figured since I said I'd make a Q&A video that that uh we would make one we'd make one the only problem is uh we have no questions no one's no one's commented anything we have no questions so at we all. have no answers i'm sorry okay video's done no we're gonna we're gonna make a video for y'all so i had the good idea since no one's commenting why don't we just q and a each other all right, let's go. So, and we have no written, we have no written questions. There's like nothing. Like this is just straight up top of our head. Off All the right. Head. So we're gonna rock paper scissors for you. Who goes first? Loser has to ask the first question. All right. Two out of three. Mm -mm. Damn it. <laughs> All right. First question. Um, I can't count that high. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. One, one. All right. Number one is first. All right. Let's go. Off the head. Alright, the number one worst dip you have ever tried. The worst. Just as never again. If there I is don't no know, like I'll pretty much dip anything, but my like like could I could I just say like my, my least favorite Your least favorite. Like only if it was the last thing in the world. I don't know. I've never really had a dip that was like Oh, I can't stand it. Except, like, the closest to that would probably be Copenhagen Natural. Just because every single time I buy that shit, it's, it's like, always just a little bit expired. And so, it like, it's spicy as shit. And I don't like, I don't like a dip that tastes like fucking pepper that I can get out of my damn kitchen. Which is nasty to me. Alright, I'll ask you the same thing. Um... Let me think. I'm going to have to go with, uh, oh, what is it? Um, what is it that you had last time at the pool? Southern blend? The Southern blend, dude. Oh, dude Southern blend? I love blend. Southern blend. Listen, this is the thing I don't like about Southern blend. It's all right after a while, but when you, when you first put that in, when it, when it first touches your lip, the taste that I get, the way I feel about the taste is it is... The most repulsive thing, like I want to puke, and I, but like I said, once you get it in and once it gets situated in your in your mouth, uh, and the taste kind of dies off a little bit, then it's all right. You got you got to push through. You got to push through the first part. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Make your dreams come true. But, but 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 based on the first taste I get when I first put it in, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with that because. Yeah. Because it's that first taste you get when you first put it in. Well, I'm not I'm not too experienced either, so I guess I haven't really developed a taste for it, and I, I guess I will as I go along. But uh, it really, I mean, it's it's just like food; like your, your taste changes over time. So. Yeah. And plus, she'll plus, get I'm, old plus I'm more of like a mint wintergreen type of guy. Yeah. Copenhagen mint is where it's at. Wintergreen, wintergreen all day. That's what I'm dipping on today. Some Copenhagen wintergreen. Dude, that Copenhagen mint from uh. Florida, Florida, the one state place. over, it's just down over a little bit, like, for y'all, it's like, that down five hours, well, I don't know if it's gonna be flipped, wherever so you are, hey, wherever you are, throw that down in the comments, rep, rep your state, rep your city, yeah, straight out of whatever, alright, straight so, out of Beham, alright, alright, your turn, you ask me, alright, um, the, mo the most you've ever done at one time, I did, I did a full horseshoe with long cut original, and I, th I, oh my god, like, that is, like, probably the worst dip to ever, like, like, within 30 seconds, like, my throat hurt because my mouth was so damn dry, just from all, like, the salt in it. God. Alright. You can ask the same question again. Maybe later. Asshole. Alright, um. I feel like we're taking all the good questions for... What's the All worst the injury you've ever had? The worst injury. Oh, this doesn't have to. I didn't, didn't even realize this doesn't even have to be about dip. The worst injury I've ever had. 
I'll let you ask me that one again because I bet everyone <laughs> wants to hear this one. Oh yeah, oh man, I hate that story. <laughs> it's repulsive. We're using that big word. Repulsive. I don't know what that means. It's nasty. I have a limited vocabulary, but I got a, I got a few surprises in there. Uh, uh, kindergarten summer after kindergarten going into first grade is my first year at summer camp, and uh, I was so excited. They had water slides, they had bouncy houses, they had the whole. They was the shit, dude. My sisters, my sisters went like for years, and I could not wait till I was old enough to go. I'm like six years old. Uh, on the playground. Uh, they had uh, what we call a glider. It's pretty much like a metal thing where you like just slide Everyone to the has end. gotten hurt on those sometime in their life. But, uh, yeah. we, we're like six, five, six years old, so like no one can reach this thing. Like you have to be like a certain, you, yeah, have, you must be this tall to, uh, to ride this thing. Well, the counselors are awesome. This, this is a good can. Even though it's probably bad for the kids, but they, it was fun. We ain't, we ain't saying no names. We're we not, we're not, not repping here. Names. Anyway, so uh, so the counselors are picking us up and putting us on the glider and kind of like gently pushing us out. And I'm so excited. It's the first week of camp. It's my first year going. I am psyched. I am like so happy to be there. I had to get up early in the morning, which I love sleeping, but it was worth it, dude. Really? Right next door to it. It was like, yeah, that's not important. <laughs> so first week, I'm so excited. It was carnival week. That week, it was awesome, dude. Anyway, so like my third, my third round going on the glider, I'm like, I said to my counselor, "Hey, give me a hard push. I want to go flying down this thing." Um, Mama, I'm going fast. Hard always hurts. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> anyway, so we, uh, he puts me up there and he gives me a good, a good shove. I mean, like, I would have never shoved a kid that hard, but, like, I asked for, I asked for it. I, I can't, I can't complain. Someone asked you to shoot him in the head, would you? <laughs> yes, probably, is. probably, yeah. Um, so, I get about halfway down, and I just face plant and straighten into the ground. It's a good, it's a good six feet off the ground, and I'm, like, you ever, four foot five. You ever five. broken a bone? Yeah, this, this is it. Oh, okay. I fell, and I Sorry. tried to brace myself on the ground, and just, I snapped my wrist right here, Damn. right this bone right here, just snapped it. And I'm in kindergarten, going into first grade. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was my dad was at work, and for some reason, I think he was in a meeting or something, they had like a conference, so he was unreachable. My mom was in the hospital, so she couldn't do it. And so the next person that they could reach was my uncle. I don't even know why he was on the emergency contact list, but he was. And um, it took him like thir it took him thirty minutes to get there because he was like, I don't even know where he was. And um, he comes and picks me up, and I am just, I am bawling like the entire thirty minutes. I won't even deny it. And we get a uh, we finally get to the hospital, and they I remember they X-rayed and they had to put the thing on my wrist, and it hurt so bad. The worst part though was not the injury. It was the fact that I went the whole summer looking forward to these water slides and bouncy houses with a cast up to here for what was, for my wrist. It was a cast, a green cast up to here. I could not get on the water slides. I could not get on the bouncy houses. I had to sit there while all the other kids got to play on this thing. And the sad thing is the guy that pushed me was my favorite counselor. So I had to like, I couldn't hate him. He was the best. And he felt so bad. And uh, that was the worst summer, dude. And then eventually, I think like halfway through the summer, I finally got like the short waterproof cast, so I eventually got to go on them. But that first half of the summer was so disappointing. And uh, it, was, it, was, it wasn't fun. All right. Are you going to ask me the same thing? I'm not going to ask you the same thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe a few questions from now. A few questions from now. It's already nine minutes into the oh, video. Dang. Anyway. If you're if you're still watching this, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is, is y'all probably clicked thank off by now. But whatever. Um, if you're still watching this and you gotta subscribe, you know you like. Come it. on, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with everyone, share with everybody. Just just throw my name up there, like whatever. All right, Connor. Let me think of a question. Hmm. What's the scaredest you've ever been? Like the moment that. In your whole life, when you were just the most scared, this is probably really stupid, but like, it's just 
probably a really stupid thing to say, but I'm not, I'm not really, there's nothing, like, that happens in my everyday life that I'm really scared of. Like, everything This that, can be from childhood or up to, like, that, up to this point. Everything that scares me is, like, probably never gonna happen. Probably just, oh, shit. This has gone on two minutes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I was on I was on my uncle's Yamaha Wave Runner when I was eight or nine, and uh, I was right on the back. Actually, I was right on the front. I was driving, and my dad was behind me, and we're going like like forty, forty five, right? And so I flip it to where the the nose is down, and uh, we t I turn real sharp and gun it, and we hit these waves, and it throws us off. What could you swim at this point? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. well, sort of. <laughs> I, I I could survive, and I that's what matters. Survive. So, um, and somehow I ended up under the wave runner, and um, I came up, and I was like almost out of air. Like I'd gone down far, cause we were going fast, and I got down really far, and um, I came up, and I started letting out my breath because I thought I was at the clear. top. You thought you were in the clear, and I was stuck under the wave runner, and I thought I was gonna die. For y'all kids little... who don't know what a wave runner is, it's a sea doo. So a jet ski, sea doo, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that, that it's it's like a it's like a motorcycle for water. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You should get one. Come down, come down here. We'll show you. We'll, we'll show you what it's about. All right. Uh, can't really think of nothing. What's your favorite kind of dip? Well, you already said coconut mint. Um. Well, I don't know if that's my favorite. I'll, I'll answer that question. You will? I will answer that question okay. because I guess my favorite dip, and I guess there's a reason for it, I guess would have to be Copen or no, Grizzly uh, Dark Wintergreen. And the reason is because when I smell it and when I taste it, it brings back memories. And it's it's not just about the taste. It's my favorite because of, and it's weird how things that like are so simple can bring back such good memories because, yeah. uh, because um, during that time it was like, um, when I first started hanging out with them, we were just beginning to get friends, and uh, now we're pretty much brothers. But uh, <coughs> back then we were, it was when we first started hanging out, a couple months into our brotherhood, I guess you could say, and. Uh, uh, Sounds like some gay ass <laughs> some shit. It's a, like, oh, you're with a paddle it's a, to, to it's, a, it's a southern frat. It's a southern fraternity. We have brands. Don't ask about that. Don't one. ask. That's that's a story for another day. Isn't that? Wouldn't that be the worst injury you ever had? That oh, that could be one of them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, Continue. so uh, the reason why I like it so much is because back in the good old days when we were hanging out all the time, and a uh, uh, very unfortunate event happened where. Uh, this dude right here was was unable to hang out for a few months. It's uh, it's pretty pr pretty much the saddest saddest few months of my life. And I remember when uh when he finally Shit, could hang out again, and uh, we were first we first started hanging out and again uh, and that was just the greatest. And I remember uh I didn't have it for so long. I didn't have it for a few months, and then I remember the first time I put it in, I smelt it after uh after that awful time period. It was a. Uh, it just brought back so many memories of the old days, the first, the first, the first, uh, the first times we had together, and uh, just the memories. It was just bring back so many good times, bonfires. Uh, yeah. Like I said uh, in the last video, the the unofficial baseball practices for the team we never joined, and uh, just all those, all those good old memories that uh, dip is that we made. With. All right, real quick, video's getting long. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and say my worst injury because this is funny as hell. Uh, brand, not even close. Um, I broke my right arm twice, once in pre-K, once in kindergarten. I've broken my hip. I've broken fingers. I've, I mean, none of that even compares to this shit. We were shooting my buddy's... Uh, <laughs> I hate this story We were shooting so my buddy's much. bow. And uh, it's this target with in, in front of this fence. It's a wooden... It's a picket fence. I don't know what the hell it is. One of them stand up fence thingies with the boards. Like the, you know what I'm talking about. The fences that stand up, not the ones that land on the ground. Just being clear. 
Make sure I'm, I'm, I'm going to punch you. And so, <laughs> they're sitting back there like the king. And so, it was my channel. And so, um, so it got stuck in the fence right between two cracks. And me okay. and my dumbass, so she said. I'm, I'm pulling it, trying to pull it through the fence. And I'm down on one knee. And I'm not thinking, like, once I pull this thing through the fence, where is it going to go? <laughs> So I'm yanking with all my might, and finally something gives, and I go, and I just feel this pain like nothing I've ever, like, fire, like, I have a hole, this is, this is graphic, I have a hole right there, from where the arrow went through my jeans, through my underwear, and into my, uh, Genet testiculars. Genitalia. So I... Took an arrow to the testiculars. What 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 kind of arrow was this? Was this a regular arrow? This wasn't some like. Oh, oh I got one right behind me. Here we go. This is the exact same kind. Exact ones. All right. It was this head, right here, that went through my pants. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Well, uh, 16 minutes in, if you're still watching this, we love you. Yeah, please subscribe below. This is uh, Caleb. He doesn't actually have a YouTube channel. We're just making shit up. Uh, official. Caleb, got to get him into YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. Please comment. I'll make more videos. If I do make a channel, then you have to follow me. You have to subscribe. I will. I'll let you know if I actually make it. That's going to be my name. So be looking forward to that. All right. This is Caleb. Uh, I'm Bama Dipper, and we are signing off.